Vale SA Portuguese pronunciation, vale, is a Brazilian multinational corporation engaged in metals and mining and one of the largest logistics operators in Brazil. Vale is the largest producer of iron ore and nickel in the world. Vale also produces manganese, ferroalloys, copper, bauxite, potash, kaolin, and cobalt. The company also currently operates nine hydroelectricity plants and a large network of railroads, ships, and ports used to transport its products. <laughs> Current operations Although the company's primary operations are in Brazil, Vale has operations in 30 countries, which are detailed below and on the company's website. <laughs> Ownership structure The company is listed on the stock exchanges of São Paulo, New York City, Paris and Madrid. Mining business Iron ore – Vale is the world's largest iron ore producer. Sales of iron ore fines and pellets represented 65% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 256 million metric tons of iron ore fines and 44 million metric tons of iron ore pellets. Vale's Mariana Hub was the ninth largest iron ore mining center in the world in 2014, with an output of 39 million metric tons. Vale's Serra Sul, S11D is the largest mining reserve in the world. The company's iron ore mines are primarily in Brazil. Nickel, Vale is the world's largest nickel producer. Sales of nickel represented 17% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 272,000 metric tons of nickel. The company owns nickel mines in Canada, Indonesia, New Caledonia, and Brazil. Fertilizer products, primarily phosphates and nitrogen, sales of fertilizer products represented 6% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 9 million metric tons of fertilizer products. Copper, sales of copper concentrate represented 4% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 353,000 metric tons of copper. The company owns copper mines in Brazil, Canada, Chile, and Zambia. Manganese and alloys, sales of manganese and alloys represented 1% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 2 million metric tons of manganese and alloys. Coal, sales of coal represented 2% of total company revenues in 2014. In 2014, Vale sold 7.5 million metric tons of coal. The company owns coal mines in Australia and Mozambique. Topic: Logistics. Topic. Railroads From 2000 to 2006 Vale invested more than $1.3 billion on the acquisition of over 361 locomotives and around 14,090 freight cars. Those locomotives were primarily for iron ore transportation, but some were for regular cargo. Some of the locomotives purchased were second-hand for refurbishment but at least 55 of the locomotives acquired were new ones of the model EMDSD 70M, each one costing about $2 million. After those investments, Vale became the owner of over 800 locomotives and more than 35,000 freight cars. Vale owns the concession of three Brazilian railways, Vitoria Minas Railway EFVM, Ferrovia Centro Atlântica and Carajás Railroad EFC. 
Vittoria Aminas Railroad – Vale operates under a 30-year contract this 905 km, 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in railroad, which is used to transport iron from the Iron Quadrangle in Minas Gerais to the port of Tabarao in the state of Espírito Santo. The concession expires in 2027. This railroad also carried 1.1 million passengers in 2006. Carajás Railroad, the concession of this 892 km, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in gauge railroad also expires in 2027, it links Carajás iron ore mines in the state of Paró to Ponta da Madeira port terminal in the state of Maranhão. Vale operates a train of 3.2 km and 340 cars on this railroad. Ferrovia Centro Atlantica – Vale controls this railroad through the subsidiary FCA. As it is shown on the Vale's operations map above, this 7,000 km, 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in railroad extends through six Brazilian states. This railroad originally belonged to the RFFSA. Vale's concession of this railroad expires in 2026. Vale also has a stake in railway operators in Mozambique and Malawi via the Nakala Logistics Corridor. Topic: Ports and container terminals. Topic: Brazil. Port of Tabarão, Vale owns and operates this port located in Vitória, Brazil, in the state of Espírito Santo. It's the largest iron ore embarking port in the world. Around 80 million metric tons of iron ore, 30% of the company's annual production, are shipped through this port. Ponta da Madeira, located in the state of Maranhão, it ships around 70 million metric tons mostly of iron ore, but also of manganese and copper for the company. It is being upgraded for the S11D project. Port of Sepetiba – Vale operates two maritime terminals in the Port of Sepetiba area located in the state of Rio de Janeiro, together they ship around 60 million metric tons of iron ore. Vale also operates port terminals in the state of Sergipe and two others in the state of Espírito Santo. <laughs> Malaysia Teluk Rubia Maritime Terminal TRMT, a state-of-the-art maritime terminal in the state of Perak, operates distribution center for iron ore caters for Asia-Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Ships Vale has also entered the shipping business by ordering 35 very large ore carriers VLOC to transport iron ore between South America and Asia. These 362 meter, 1188 feet, 400,000 DWT ships are the longest and largest dry bulk carriers in the world. The first ship, Vale Brazil, was delivered in March 2011. Topic: Energy. Vale's energy business is focused at power production to fulfill the needs of its mining operations, as well as supplying the general Brazilian power grid. In 2005, it consumed 16.9 terawatt hours of electrical power, accounting for 4.4% of Brazil's total consumption in that year. Vale has participation in eight hydroelectric plants, with seven of these located in the state of Minas Gerais. Vale's investment in hydroelectric power plants totals $880 million. The company also plans to build a 600 MW thermoelectric power plant in the state of Paró. Vale also operates hydroelectric plants in Canada and Indonesia. Rebranding 
In November 2007, the company retired the name CVRD in favor of simplified company name of Vale, and rebranded. Topic: History. Founded as Compania Vale do Rio Doce, widely known as CVRD prior to 2007, in English, Dos River Valley Company was founded in Itabira, Minas Gerais, by the Brazilian federal government on 1 June 1942. One year later, the Vitoria Minas Railroad was inaugurated. The 1950s marked Compania Vale do Rio Doce's entry into the global iron ore market, after the company's mine railroad port complex was modernized and iron ore prices doubled. At first, sales were mostly to the United States, but exports to Europe increased over the course of the decade. In 1966, the company inaugurated in Espirito Santo the port of Tabarao, which was to become the most important port for CVRD and is still used to export iron ore mined from the Iron Quadrangle in Minas Gerais. The company acquired a majority interest in the Carajás mine, with over 1.5 billion tons of iron ore in reserves in 1970 in 1974 Vale became the world's biggest exporter of iron ore a title which it still holds today in 1982 Vale began to diversify after it started to produce aluminium in Rio de Janeiro in the mid 1980s profits increased considerably under the leadership of Eliezer Batista father of Ica Batista in 1985 Vale started to explore the Carajás mine in the state of Paror just after the 1,600 mm gauge Carajás Railroad was opened. In 1986, Ponta Madeira Port Terminal, which is still used to export iron ore mined at the Carajás Mine, was inaugurated in the state of Maranhão. In March 2017, Vale S.A. Chusa Commodities Industry veteran, Fabio Schwarzman as Chief Executive Officer. Schwarzman was CEO of Claben SA, Brazil's largest paper and cardboard producer, for the past six years. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Privatization in 1997. In May 1997, despite protests by Vale employees and some politicians, the Brazilian government auctioned a 41.73% interest in the company, which was sold for 3.34 billion reais $3 billion. The largest interest purchased was a 16.3% stake purchased by Brazilian steel company Companhia Siderurgica Nacional. Sale of wood pulp businesses In 2001, Vale sold its Senibra wood pulp business for $670.5 million to focus on mining and logistics. In 2002, Vale sold 100,000 acres of land and the eucalyptus forests thereon related to its wood pulp business for 137 million reals. Topic: Sale of steel businesses. In 2000, the company sold its stake in Acaminas to Gerdai in exchange for preferred shares in Gerdai. In 2001, Vale sold its stake in Compania Siderurgica Nacional for 520 million reals. In 2004, Vale sold its stake in CST to Arcelor for 415.1 million dollars. In 2006, Vale sold its interest in Siderar to Ternium for 107. $5 million. In 2006, the company sold 5,362,928 shares in Usaminas for or 378.6 million reals. In 2007, the company sold the majority of its stake in Usaminas. In 2009, the company sold its remaining stake in Usaminas. Topic: 
Acquisitions of Brazilian iron ore companies In May 2000, the company acquired Sociomex, owner of the Gongo Soco mine, with proven reserves of approximately 75 million tons. In May 2000, the company also acquired a controlling interest in Samitri, one of the biggest pelletizing companies of Brazil. In April 2001, the company acquired Ferteco, then the third largest Brazilian producer of iron ore, with a production capacity of 15 million tons per year. In 2006, the company acquired Rio Verde Mineração for $47 million. Topic: <laughs> Acquisition of Kaimi and acquisition and partial disposition of MBR. On 1 April 2000, Vale offered to pay Mitsui $277 million for 50% of the common shares and $150 million for 40% of the preferred stock in Kaimi. Kaimi owned MBR, Brazil's second largest iron ore producer, mining over 60 million tons per year. The acquisition was approved by European regulators subject to conditions. In September 2003, Vale purchased an additional stake in Kaimi from Mitsui for $426.4 million. On 23 January 2006, the company announced a stock swap merger to acquire the interest Kaimi that it did. Did not already own, in 2007, increased its ownership in MBR by purchasing additional interests from Mitsui for $114.5 million. Also in 2007, Vale announced that it will lease the shares of MBR that it did not already own from the seven Japanese shareholders for a 30 year period. The agreement required the company to pay a total of $60.5 million in 2007 and $48.1 million annually for a 30 year period and gave it total control of MBR. In 2015, Vale announced the sale of a 36.4% interest in MBR for 4 billion reals. Diversification into non-ferrous metals, coal and phosphate In 2001, Vale increased its copper mining operations by purchasing the Sosego mine in Carajas, in northern Brazil, for $48.5 million. In 2005, Vale acquired Canaco Resource, owner of a nickel mine in Brazil, after increasing its offer to $865 million. In October 2006, Vale acquired Canadian based nickel producer Inco, for $18.9 billion including $17.7 billion in cash and the assumption of $1.2 billion in debt. To gain approval from Canadian authorities, Vale promised to continue investments in Canada and not lay off people for three years after closing. In 2007, Vale made a major entry into coal mining by acquiring AMCI Holdings Australia for $835 million. In 2010, Vale launched a public offer to acquire fertilizer and copper producer Paranapanema. In 2010, Vale acquired a controlling interest in Phosphatil via a series of transactions. In June 2011, Jason Chenier and Jordan Fram were killed at the 3,000 foot level of the Froude mine near Sudbury, Ontario. In 2011, the company sold its aluminum business to Norsk Hydro in a $5.27 billion transaction. In July 2012, Vale sold its ferro manganese plants in Europe to Glencore for $160 million. In 2014, Vale announced the sale of coal assets in Mozambique to Mitsui in a $950 million transaction. In 2014, Vale sold its interest in Fosbrazil SA, a manufacturer of phosphate based products. In 2015, the company announced that it would sell a 25% interest in gold produced from its Salobo mine, located in Brazil, to Silver Wheaton for $900 million. In 2015, the company entered 
into a letter of intent to sell bauxite assets to Norsk Hydro. On 5 November 2015, a dam collapsed at the Samarco mining site, co owned by Vale and BHP Billiton. The accident resulted in 17 deaths and massive environmental contamination. Activities at the mine were suspended, and the companies agreed to pay compensation of 4.4 billion reals $1.55 billion. On 26 November 2015, Vale announced that it planned to reduce its budget for capital expenditures from $8 billion in 2015 to $6.2 billion in 2016, with further reductions to $4 minus $5 billion by 2018. Topic. Controversies Topic. Criticism Vale was elected as the corporation with the most contempt for the environment and human rights in the world during a January 2012 vote organized by the public eye. The choice was made by public vote and Vale received 25,000 votes. <laughs> <laughs> 